Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Stacy Lee's Life with Cerebral Palsy. Before I get started today, if you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. So if you have come across this channel, that means you have come across a channel that talks all about cerebral palsy, the good side, the bad side of cerebral palsy. You may ask me why, and that is because I want to help those who have disabilities and help those who don't have disabilities understand what it's like for me as an individual and for those who have disabilities. Make them realize that they're not alone with dealing with a disability because they're not the only ones out there that has or know someone that has a disability. So let's get started with today's video. First, I want to apologize for this video being so late. I know I had told you guys that I would have it up for you sooner than what I do. So, my last video I told you guys that I would try to get footage before I went in to have my fixator off. Unfortunately, I was not able to do that because they would not allow it, so I could not get the footage before and after. I went in to surgery, so today I'm just going to tell you what happened, because a lot of you have been asking me um, what had happened after I got the fixator off. So he did not put me to sleep like he told me he was going to. I felt every part of the fixator coming off. And let me tell you guys, it hurt like hell. As I've told you guys in my previous videos, that I do not, and I can't stress this enough, I do not recommend anyone doing this because it absolutely hurts. Since I've gotten the fixator off, I noticed the difference in my knee that it feels a lot better, but at the same time, with me saying that, it hurts on the side of my knee. Guys, I literally cannot feel the middle part of my knee, so it does not hurt in the middle part of my knee. It hurts on the side of my knee, and my ankle hurts like hell. So I called the doctor yesterday, and they finally agreed to write a prescription for me after arguing with this woman for about 20 minutes. It was the nurse practitioner. I was taking a muscle relaxer, but unfortunately I had to stop taking the muscle relaxer because I had some side effects that um, caused some issues, so I had to stop taking that, and the nurse practitioner is going to argue with me and tell me that I shouldn't stop 
taking the muscle relaxer. And I simply told her, I was like, I have no choice because of the side effects. Now, I'm not going to tell you what those were, but unfortunately, I had to stop taking the muscle relaxer because of the side effects. And then she's going to argue with me and tell me that they did nothing to my ankle. Granted, she is correct. They did nothing to my ankle, but one of the screws were right near my ankle. So I think that is why my ankle is bothering me so bad because of the bone right near my ankle. So now it's causing me to have a lot of pain. But as far as the knee, I can no longer straight or not straighten, bend my knee because he fused my knee. And I have to wear a brace to keep it protected. And I've been trying to do that, but again, it's been very difficult for me to wear the brace because it's causing extreme pain. So I have it wrapped like he wanted with an ace bandage. So because I haven't been out of this bed, I have not been, I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys, I have not been wearing the brace like I should be, but I have it wrapped, and I'm going to try the brace again today. I don't recommend if you guys do the surgery and your doctor decides to give you a brace after he takes the fixator off. I do not recommend you doing what I am doing. I do not recommend you take the brace off and leave it off while you're laying in the bed. I just do it because it causes me it causes me extreme pain. And again guys, if you can help it please don't get this surgery done. And you may ask me, well, if you're telling us not to get it done, why did you get it done? And the simple answer to that is, guys, I had no choice. I broke my knee, so I had no choice but to get it done. Well, I'm going to end this video here. And if you have not already done so, please Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit this, the this subscribe button. And make sure you turn the notification bell on. And I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. And as I always say, never say you can't. Always say you can. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.